Okay, someone asked me for a video on how the technique actually is with stripping, how you grab the longest hairs when you're working on a rolled or rotated coat and not just on a coat that is um, all blown. So um, I'm going to show a couple different techniques that I use. There are a lot of different things you can do. Everybody that, you know, there's all kinds of different techniques out there. Find what works best for you. Um, and try a couple different ones until you find something that works. I'm going to try to show this up close. So I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to try. So, um, so you can see the coat and you can see the colors. He obviously has a grizzle coat. Um, I'm doing this by myself. So when you push down on the coat, See how right in front of my hand it pops up, the longest hairs kind of just pop. Can you see how, see all that row, how that sticks up right there? Those are the hairs you want to pull. The ones that are the longest will just pop up. And you can see them just a little bit in front of my, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch in front of my finger. There's no squirrels out there, stop. So again, as I'm doing it, I will pull my hand along here like this, and you'll see those hairs pop up. Those are the hairs you want to pull. You want to grab the ends of the hair, the tips of the hair. You don't want to grab the middle of the hairs, um, or even try to. Just grab the ends of the hair. And then as you're pulling, you'll see there's color. And when you pull the hairs out, See how the ends are white? Those are blown hairs. Those are ready to come out. That's the longest layer. They're blown. You can kind of see it in the coat too, in the grizzle. The real light colored hairs, those are the ones. Those are the ones that are blown. See how they're white at the tips? That's blown hair. So that needs to come out. So I'm going to set this down because I can't strip and video at the same time. tablet's dying so I have to plug it in maybe grr okay okay so now I'm going to do what I just explained so I'm going to push down with my hand those hairs are going to pop up and those are the hairs that I'm going to pull. You want to work in a, in a pattern through the dog. You don't want to just stay in one spot for too long. You want to work all through and down the dog. I'm starting on the top line, which is the middle of the back, and I'm pulling what needs to come out as I work my way down the back and the middle of the dog. If you stay in one spot for too long, you will have a bald spot or a really sparse spot. And then you have to try to get that to even out over time, which is more difficult because those hairs that you pull, a new hair is now going to grow in its place. And if you pull a chunk of hair out in one spot and make a bald spot, those new hairs are going to grow back and it's going to be hard to get that all even. So you want to keep working in a motion down the dog, through the dog. I always start at the top line. On a show dog, you want to make sure you don't pull a hole in the top line, because then you have a dip or something like that. You want to show a nice, flat, natural top line. If, um, if your dog has a dip in the top line, you're going to be careful over that spot. On a show dog, on a pet, doesn't matter. Just pull the hair as evenly as you can. So once I've done down the middle, step up, step up, step up. Once I've done the middle, then I'll start working down the side a little bit. And it's I'm just basically going a stripping knife wide. Um, so it's tedious. It's not something you can get done fast. Um, so now I'm just going to start going down the side a little bit. 
his coat is maintained every week, four to six hours a week. So I really just have to go through and pull out the dead coat in a consistent manner because what he has is good. I don't have any holes. I don't have anything that I need to really fix per se. Um, so I just need to go through and, and pull the dead stuff so that new layers can grow in. And the same on, then I'll come on this side and I'll do the same. So now I've basically gone one blade width down the center of the back, one blade width down each side of that center of the back. So now I'll stand back, I'll look, make sure that I have a level top line, step up. Make sure that I haven't created any dips. Now you can see I haven't taken off quite as much here as I have here. So I'm going to level this part out. check. Still a little bit higher than I would like it once his tail goes up. For the shoulders, um, it's, it's difficult to pull them evenly and get the hair to stand up by obviously putting your hand on it. So something you can do with the shoulders is to roll the skin. Um, and then when you roll the skin, you can see the hairs stick out and you just go through and pull the longest hairs. Just make, you want to make sure that you pull in the, con you know, in the way that the hair grows. Um, you don't want to pull up. I don't like brushing a coat up. Some people will brush it up and out, you know, against the way the hair grows. I don't like to do that. Um, I don't know that it really affects how a coat lays if you have a really nice coat anyway. I just, it just goes against everything I feel right <laughs> on a wire coated breed, so I don't do it. I do know people that do. And I'm just raking some undercoat out so that I can recheck this top line, see how it's looking. Step up. Oh boy. And that's, that's pretty much about it. So if anybody wants any other videos, me and Zeppi would be happy to do it. But it's time to go squirrel hunting, huh? Find a squirrel? Where's the squirrel? Wanna go find one? Okay.